All right, what I'm going to show you guys today is how to do a screen snip. Now, a screen snip will give you a more refined capture of a section of a screen. So say, for instance, we're looking at this monitor that I have. If you did a, simply a screenshot of this and then sent it to me as an attachment in an email to ask a question, what it would produce would be a very small picture, and it would be hard for me to look at the information that you're trying to ask me about. So by using a screen snip we can get a more refined section of a screen so that it's easier for me to answer a question for you. So I have Windows 2013 and I'll show you how to get to um, the screen say, snip program through that. If you have another version of Windows you will probably have to Google as to how to find the screen snip program for your version. All right. So in Windows 13, we're going to look at all apps. Then we're going to look for Windows accessories. And that's going to be the same for all Windows versions. And under Windows accessories, we'll be looking for the snipping tool. Now this is the menu for the snipping tool. If you wind up having um, it over the section that you wanted to copy, you can simply move it over so it's out of the way. Uh, now, so we're going to do a screen snip of my uh, Saints website, Houdat Warriors. And so let's go into new. We want to do a new screen snip. And what you'll see is immediately the whole um, monitor turns white and that's so that you can determine exactly what portion you want to grab. So you'll use your cursor and grab that section if that's the section you have a question about. Now if that was not the section that you want and you want to do another screen snip instead you just hit new again, screen will white out again, and then you grab another section. Now if that's the section that you want from here under the file menu you will do save as and then name it. So homework question one and then place it someplace you can find it. Again I'm going to place this on the desktop and then you'll save it and then you will go and send me an email um, asking the question with regard to homework or something else and then you would go to the desktop and add that as an attachment so it'll be easy for me to see exactly what you're asking a question about. Let me know if you have any other questions. Talk to you guys soon. Bye.